All right, so that is going to be every sun, moon, and as well uh, rising weekly general tarot reading April 20th to 26th, uh, 2020. And in case uh, any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase uh, such. And as well, if you are interested in learning the art of tarot and you like the way I read, uh, you can sign up for my online live tarot classes in which, in the beginner's class that is, I'm going to explain you all the major arcana, how to interpret them in terms of career, relationship, negative and positive way, and in generally how they stand into the dedicated spread I use for the major arcana only. It's major arcana friendly, so you can, uh, once you end up um, finalizing the course, the beginner's course, you are set to go doing your own readings. So that being said, uh, moving to the first card here, which represents the general topic of your week Aries, that is to be the Four of Cups, followed by the next one uh, that represents the energy surrounding and feeding up, kind of like boosting the topic itself, that is to be the Page of Pentacles. Then we do have the challenges that you have to overcome, and it's pretty clear from those three cards, Aries, it is that it's going to be quite of a... Uh, challenging but not a week of struggle okay and uh, when we go through the cards you will see what i mean uh followed by the next one uh we do have the gifts and the blessings oh my god so you do have the ace of cups of the gifts and the blessings and then it is the impression that you're going to leave into the people around that is to be the devil card and the last one uh, which uh, represents the guidance or how you should tackle with all that that will be the seven of cups awesome it's it's a, uh, probably in those kind of like uh, tumultuous times, one cannot ask for a better type of reading. So, uh, first one and second one. So what we do have here with the energy, it is that you are to uh, start obtaining kind of like uh, not just only emotional attachment to either someone or something. I'm talking about a goal, agenda, project, you know, or a career or a, a relationship but also that will become a devotion. Why? It is because it's gonna go both ways. That is how the Page of Pentacles operates. It always goes both ways, okay? And if I have to uh, classify it more like a, uh, uh, um, a love reading, because we do have the Ace of Cups into the, um, uh, into the gifts and the blessings, and if we don't say that the Ace of Cups is about love, well, then you don't can't you can't classify it as the ace of cups although it does signify the prime love if you will so the love of life itself that could be constrained over a romantic one but not necessarily anyway so with the page it goes both ways you love the person he loves you you love the thing the thing loves you as well and that itself creates a very big devotion that you're going to start incorporating. Why? Because it's worth it. It's just as simple as that, because you see that it's goddamn worth it this time around. And uh, the page is like um, taking care for a child, you know, taking care for a, uh, for a, uh, uh, for a toddler. And uh, the better you taking care of it, the better it becomes. The, the, the more time and the more effort and, and in generally the more kindness you put in it, the successful it becomes so with the page you should seek contact or these energies are gonna make you to seek contact these energies are gonna make you to get not exactly get the initiative but go by with the initiative because the initiative is gonna happen on uh, almost on its own accord for example you talk with someone that you are still how can I say it a common owner so right you just uh, cross paths you don't have any emotional attachment for now but the interaction goes so fluently and so without any pushing and any um, how can I say it any distress any any poignancy in it that those more than just friendship type of, of emotions and of feelings are just start to developing or same thing could be said about career you know you may be not exactly thrilled about what you're doing but as long as you're doing it throughout the week you will see that actually it worth it and it's something worth exploring something worth loving it because at the end of the day with those cards you are gonna love it and i'm saying those with the conditions because that leads us to the situation itself which is the four of cups 
and that is very tightly linked with the um, with the challenges, okay, which are the three of wands. So four of cups kind of points that uh, this week you are not going to be in the mindset of exploring that opportunity, probably because you are going to have too many things on your uh, on your platter to take care of that are simultaneously, you know, running through your uh, th through the flow of your time, uh, and uh, you may feel a either overburdened or b very very annoyed. It's kind of like almost annoyed to a boredom so whatever new comes about it, it will simply agitate you because you're gonna have too many things to take to take care of throughout the week you know it could be family matters it could be career matters as well etc etc so the four of cups here points that you are likely to find yourself quite occupied throughout the week you know those energies are gonna push you toward this devotion of yours and uh, the situation will require a, a astute mental awareness if you will to identify recognize and therefore uh, adopt as a part of your life this uh, particular devotion because the four of cups uh, it kind of points that one sits into the uh, into the final stage of cons of consumption of consumption it's like you are consuming the very final uh, uh, fruits of previous labors and now you got to identify new labors as a new love you know or as a new enterprise into your current love or as a, a, a new project or as a new job and etc etc uh, and it's it's just presented to you all right on its own accord you have to identify it by the four of cups but here with those energies it is now presented to you so you don't have to do much it's just to recognize it and say okay so that that's my thing However, what's your thing? Uh, it kind of is shown here into the challenges, which is the Tree of Wands. And Tree of Wands is always challenged through a challenge or growth through a challenge. Um, Tree of Wands uh, kind of points that you are likely, like we, we saw with the Four of Cups as well, that you are sitting on your well-established foundations and patterns, so pretty much things to its most extent, uh, extent are going to be sorted out for you. And therefore, uh, in these like said tumultuous times, you may not be willing to risk it. And according to the Tree of Wands, that is not a risk. That is, you have to take it like a, you are lifting the bar. All right, you are lifting the bar of your um, capabilities, okay, of your goals, of your limits, of your expectations as well. And the challenge, as we said about expectations here, the challenge is also going to refer that that things may not happen from the very first try, all right? I mean, you may not meet your expectations once you try it once, but that doesn't mean that you cannot polish it afterwards, that you can't get back and redo those kind of aspects of your relationship or a newly found relationship, you know, or of your project that you don't quite like. Because a tree of wands, that is the challenge to reach somewhat a perfection that the the result of the milestone kind of meets your expectation uh, expectations almost to their full extent and that will be your challenge uh or if i have to say it abstractly here uh tree of wands says that your ship has came and you may miss it that is the challenge to to kind of understand that that is your ship and get on board um so uh, next one, uh, it is the gifts and the blessings. And we do have the Ace of Cups. Uh, you are going to be gifted with the love of life. Uh, so Ace of Cups, if we have to talk about it in a very general sense as a, a practical incorporation or as a practical manifestation, Ace of Cups says that the circumstances uh, on their own accord are going to um, align in a such a way that you are going to goddamn love it all right you're just going to be quite amazed pleased exhilarated it, it, for some of you is going to be even a moment of ecstasy okay that they are a um aligning themselves in that way and it's because you're gifting a blessing you don't have to do anything about it so you're going to have the predisposition here to uh follow this agenda goal or devotion is what i like to say it 
And uh, the best thing about this gift and blessing, gift and a blessing, it is that by grasping the moment, you know, by getting a grip over the situation and not shy away from it or kind of like being scared of it because we see, because we saw that you have to, you know, show a mental awareness and improve your own expectations, you know, and lift the standards of your capabilities and your limits and et cetera, et cetera. Then uh, that will gift you with a resolution to almost all of your problems, not because they are going to be sorted out, but because they will no longer have whatsoever impact and any re any relevance at all upon your future development career-wise or a relationship-wise uh, okay for example uh, you are having a big argument with your wife okay but the circumstances align themselves in such a way this week that you do find a, an enterprise that just makes you forget about that you know argument which makes it completely irrelevant for your happiness into the developing marriage. So how the people are going to look at you, what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around. We do have the devil card and that is as a, um, someone on the top of the world. Okay. The person who gets what they want with ease, because that's what the devil do gives you everything you want with ease, with no questions asked whatsoever. That is the simple explanation of the card. And also on a more spiritual level, people will see you with power to force and to change fates. Maybe you're going to have it. Maybe you won't. All right. Because uh, that is how people see you and not what your standpoint is going to be. Uh, your real standpoint is going to be. But if you do possess the power to change fates, do not abuse it because it always comes with a price. OK, you can change it now. But after that. You have to pay the bill. The bill comes eventually, guys, especially with the devil card, because this is what the devil does, all right? Gives you so it can take away your soul, and you don't want that, all right? So be mindful about what you do with the power given you by the devil itself. And the last one that we do have here, it will be the guidance the tower is offering. So we are going with this to, to make my points across with that card. I will start from the uh, start of the reading here, from the very beginning of the reading, where I said that you need to have the mental awareness, that uh, you are now consuming the final fruits of your labor. You have to identify new direction and lift the capabilities, your personal capabilities and expectations. Seven of Cups points that whatever devotion you are to face throughout the week, okay? So whatever goal that devotion is going to give you, it may sound immature ridiculous the very least the, the the right word is preposterous okay it may sound kind of like behind your um even bravest dreams but the seven of cups points that those dreams is like the mother's dreams for her children are they fantasies or is it growing well yet remains to be of uh, to be of knowing so seven of cups here points that as long as your goal is objective meaning that it is uh, accomplishable in the standards of our um, times and also uh, what was the word that I was searching for our civilization you definitely can't get there so you should not give up and I, I also said that it may not happen from the first time and this is what the seven of cups also refers to that when you try something and you try it in the wrong way the very most that is going to happen is that you are going to get disappointed from yourself, but the impact or the consequences of your actions are not going to be that bad and severe that is going to push it beyond the points of no return. So therefore, you can get back on the starting points and redo it once again, this time around in the right way. OK, so do not give up. It is what the uh, those cards are pointing. But follow your goal, your devotion that is to be given here, because it's definitely worth doing it, because it's going to show you what true love of life really is. So that being said, uh, Aries, that was your weekly general tarot reading, April 20th to, to uh, April 26th. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. Once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from, when, uh, from where you can purchase uh, such. And once you purchase it, I'm going to contact you within 24 hours to give you details how your reading is going to take place. And as well, if you uh, are interested in to start reading tarot cards and you like the way I do it, I'm offering an online live tarot classes in which I'm going to, at least in the beginner's course, I'm going to teach you how to read 
major arcana and how to use them only in a, in a spread and I will explain them to you in terms of uh, how to interpret them in terms of career, in terms of relationship, in a general sense, in a negative uh, position, in a positive position. So you're going to be at the end of the course, you're going to be set to do your own readings. Even using only major arcana, I promise you that the reading is not less accurate than using the whole 78. Uh, so yeah, that being said, that was uh, this video and uh, stay safe now and see you next time. Until then, bye.